This is the Sugar Beet Report, bringing you the latest information from NDSU throughout the sugar beet growing season. It's the start of another sugar beet season, and weed control is a hot topic. However, this year appears to be different from 2023. For example, planting will begin in mid-April as compared to mid-May. Our guest today is Tom Peters, NDSU and University of Minnesota Extension Sugar Beet Agronomist. Tom, how do you envision weed management in 2024 versus 2023? Bruce, your observation is spot on. You're absolutely right. So in 2024, because a lot of our planting was in mid-May, we focused on water hemp. In 2023, I think we're going to see much more kochia. So some of the kochia will remove by tillage. I'm afraid some of the kochia is going to germinate and emerge after tillage, and that's the kochia that I'm worried about. Our number one kochia control herbicide is ethafumazate, or Nortron, and I want our growers to be aware of that. Is all of kochia glyphosate resistant? Sometimes our populations are glyphosate resistant. Sometimes they're susceptible. And it's really hard, Bruce, to predict which one you have. I think our growers know best, mostly from their experiences. But one rule of thumb that I use a lot is if your farm is along a railroad track, chances are it's glyphosate-resistant kochia. If you're growing along fence lines and you have kochia, I'm thinking more times than not it's glyphosate-sensitive yet. You know, Tom, I've heard a bit about spinaid for kochia control. Is that viable? Spinaid is a new herbicide, but it's an old herbicide. So the active ingredient in spinaid is phenmetafam. So years ago, we sold that product, and it was called Betanol. We're using spinaid again, and the most important point on spinaid is it needs to be applied over very small weeds weeds that are less than a half an inch inside. Further, our spinade rates are dependent on the size of the kochia, the size of sugar beet, but most importantly, Bruce, the atmospheric conditions at application, especially the temperature, and that will dictate our rate. Second, spinade will need to be a repeat application, and I think in some cases, we might even be making three applications to adequately control kochia. What about Roundup, Tom? Are there ways growers can optimize Roundup performance against kochia? Yeah, I think for some growers, Roundup is still a very viable option for controlling kochia. But my recommendation is to use a taloamine adjuvant in combination with one of the glyphosate products. So use a taloamine adjuvant at either one quart or two quarts per 100 gallons of water, depending on what glyphosate formulation you use. Thanks, Tom. Our guest has been Tom Peters, NDSU and University of Minnesota Extension Sugar Beet Agronomist. This has been the Sugar Beet Report, bringing you the latest information from NDSU throughout the sugar beet growing season.